You know the sessions that you just really, really, really don't want to do? They end up being the best, don't they? What's up guys? Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. We have just finished up today's upper body day. And my god, what a freaking good one. Let's get the video off on a good note. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's get it started. Wow, that's, that's bright. Okay, we're gonna roll with it, so. It is a sad, sad day. When you have the final one. A moment of silence, please. Name somebody else that gets this excited for a leg day. I'll wait. South side, can't get enough, can't get enough. East side, west side, worldwide. Right out. Now I ain't got no kids yet, but this right here's for practice. I hate to get the seats in the bins wet, but that's how good your ass is. Make an old man get his glasses, make Wesley pay his taxes, then follow your moves all week on Twitter. Probably make a gay nigga reconsider. You now rock it with the best man, dress game down to the sex game. Won't grab but the boy been blessed man. Let you play with the stick, oh wretch king. She calling, she texting, she's falling, but let me explain. Gotta tell your old boyfriend skate girl, cause a nigga don't play them X games. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, I really want to hear the drop, but I've got to turn it off copyright. Uh, oh, excuse me. I'm a tad light-headed after that, guys. Bear with me. Hear the drop. Listen careful. <laughs> so a fasted leg workout is not the one. It's really not. I love leg day. Really, really excited and I'm having a really good time. But I'm tired. Running out of gas. I think I might take a couple of minutes, get a second wind and go again. I've only done two exercises, God. You know what I've been absolutely loving lately is a massive baggy ass top, especially when training legs. I love wearing my shorts so I can see my legs working and all that, you know, and I just wear shorts all the time anyway. But a big old baggy shirt, you can't beat it when you're training legs. Or a long sleeve shirt. One or the other, and, and still shorts. Maybe some knee sleeves. I should probably get some knee sleeves. Baggy top or long sleeve. That is the way forward, IMO. Stands for my opinion. She calling, she texting, she's falling, but let me explain. Gotta tell your old boyfriend, skate girl, cause a nigga don't play them X games. It's hot when it's my skin, I begin and take a break. With leg days, I always like to try and go quad hammy, quad hammy, quad hammy. 
um, on the basis that when one is working, you can just rest the other one and then go full throttle on the other one when the other one's rested and vice versa, vice versa. I know some people like to do hammies on like, on a pool day or something like that. I, I personally don't. I personally much prefer to just do legs all in one go. I feel like doing back and hamstrings for me at this point in time is just a bit of a bizarre combination. Um, yeah, I'd rather just do legs all in one go. I like doing legs all in one go, so why would I change it to that, you see? So, still running the five days. Upper, upper, lower, push, pull, legs. So, um, sometimes the order of that gets changed to push, pull, legs. Upper, lower, legs, push, pull, upper, like, you know, lower, upper. I do it depending on how my week is going, how my schedule is looking, because obviously then I can plan, if I know what I'm doing throughout the week, I can plan my sessions um, around my food and all that kind of stuff. I wanted to try legs fasted today. Um, probably won't be doing that too often. Um, I don't know if many of you guys at home will agree, but legs fasted um, is fairly difficult. But um, yeah, still running the five days. And uh, it was 168.9 pounds this morning. So we're still waiting on that big old shit to fall out of me. And then I dropped down to like 166. It's gonna happen, mark my words. You, you see, you will see. <laughs> Anyway, let's crack on. Cold world. South side. Can't get enough. Can't get enough. East side. West side. Worldwide. Ride out. Now I ain't got no kids yet. But this right here's for practice. I hate to get the seats in the bins wet. But that's how good your ass is. Make an old man. I think one mistake people always make when they're training legs is a very easy mistake to make to be fair and you know we've all been there sort of thing I think the mistake is, is training too heavy um, especially on things like stiff legged deadlifts on hamstring curls leg extensions you know, these are the things that actually people end up snapping their shit up on. Like I, I have heard up from my personal kind of friendship group, if you like, albeit very small, the people that I know that have injured themselves whilst training legs have done it while doing hamstring curls, leg extensions, stuff like that, rather than a barbell squat. Because they always conserve their energy on the, bar on the barbell squats. So they don't go too over the top. They push themselves in order to grow but they don't go too over the top to the point where they're straining for it and they really, really can't, shouldn't, can't and shouldn't be squatting that way. Whereas because you sat down on, on you know, a hamstring curl, people love to really just go heavy on it and I'm, I'm not a big fan of that and I would not encourage that. I hamstring curl twice a week, have done for about three years, and I hamstring curl 30 kilos. <laughs> now there's an argument that I should be progressively overloading slightly more than that, but I always argue, especially with stuff like that, that the mind to muscle connection is key. It is king. I would rather hamstring curl 30 kilos perfectly than 50 kilos, shoving it forward, and then twanging my hamstring like that. Now it's sod's law that I'm gonna do the next set and <laughs> twang my hamstring, but, you guys, you guys see my point. Just don't go over the top, in particular with legs, in particular with the seated movements. Just take your time, because if you injure yourself, you're not gonna be able to go to the gym. You don't go to the gym, you're not gonna be able to make the gains, or you're gonna lose the gains you've already made. Take your time with it. You've got a long ass time to make these gains, people. Do not injure yourself for the sake of five kilos extra on a hamstring curl. Now I'm not saying that you have to pause on your hamstring curls and your leg extensions, otherwise you're doing it wrong. That's not what I'm saying at all. Far from it, in fact. But if you aren't able to control that weight properly and feel the squeeze in the right muscles, it's too heavy. Lighten it. And trust me, your legs will look better for it. I think because legs is such a, oh yeah, I train legs, I love training legs kind of thing, especially for guys. They feel the need to, to do everything heavy, whereas, it, trust me, especially if you're new to the gym, it's much more impressive to see a person doing something with good form on a light weight than someone ego lifting, shifting heavy weight terribly. Do you know what I mean? 
And so if you are in particular new to the gym, or, or you've been going to the gym for years, lighten that load, perfect that form, and then slowly, steadily, but surely, increase the weight. And soon you'll have legs as massive as mine, I know, right? Get enough of what you got. Good guys, you hit the spot. Try to let go, but I just cannot. So don't you stop. I need hate. Glow, try to cold, hide to even wait out in London town. Hoes holler cause they love my sound. And I got love for the underground. Quali, pimp C, H town will bring it down. Met a bad bitch that'll cut all night, that'll suck all night. You just cut off light. Almost missed my flight. Trying to get my last little nut, alright. She be down for whatever. Whenever I wanna get up in the guts, alright. Never fuss a fight. On the grind trying to find this lady. I love it when you give me head. I hate it when you give me head. If you've ever wondered how I actually train calves in the home gym, um, I know what I know you're all thinking, oh my goodness, how has he trained calves in the home gym? The leg press here has a little bar right about there. And I stick my legs on it, it's awesome. It's awesome. You know those machines that you get where you sit down and you get to push the bar down? It's essentially the same as that. So not only is it a leg press, it's a hack squat and a calf machine all in one. In my garage. Awesome. Transition out the lat. <laughs> it's just a joke between me and the old man there. So it is late on in the next day now, as you can see. Fresh trim has been acquired. Why, Liam? Why are you having another haircut? Um, because I looked a state, and because uh, I've got a couple of exciting things, a couple of exciting videos coming up, in which I would like to look the part. You know, Alpha Leap video. Alpha Leap just done a launch. Um, I'm also going to be shooting lots of the clothes that I got. I'm going to be heading down to London to do that. So that's sick. And yeah, so that's why really I wanted a haircut, and that's in a couple of days. So expect to see that. You would already know that though, if you follow me on Instagram. If you're not, why not? Link's in the description as always, I hope to see you there. Drop me a message, let me know if you come from this video. Um, and that's gonna kind of be it, really guys. I think that's what, about 13 minutes? There or thereabouts, anyway. I hope you have enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts on training legs fasted or just training fasted in general. It's a topic that I like to explore um, with videos because it's one me finding out more about myself like that's probably the first maybe the second time at most I've trained legs fasted ever um, and in terms of doing heavy barbell squats and you know people are like <laughs> you're squatting you call that a heavy squat <laughs> Before we go as well, I need you to do one more real quick thing for me guys, please. It takes two seconds. It costs you zero pennies, zero pounds, zero dollars, zero... Any other currency. It's free. It's free, please. It takes two seconds. Drop the video a like because it really, 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 really really helps. Took that too far, didn't I? <laughs> so anyway guys, like I say, uh, plenty of exciting things coming. I hope you are looking forward to them. Um, because I am. It's going to be something completely different and you know, we're, uh, we're working on that momentum, you know? Athlete launch video will be live on Tuesday because that is when the clothing, garments, will arrive. You will have the usual Wednesday video and then Sunday too. Oh, you're in for a treat, aren't you? Check these out. Oh, oh, oh. Right, okay, I've said enough, I'm going. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good YouTuber stuff. Together, we will grow. Thank you so much for your support. I love you, I appreciate you. See you in the next one. Transition. Banter. Right out. Now I ain't got no kids yet, but this right here's for practice. I hate to get the seats in the bins wet, but that's how good your ass is. Make an old man get his glasses, make Wesley pay his taxes, then follow your moves all week on Twitter. Probably make a